Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Usually at this point, I would bring you the newest update or the newest news coming from the official Umke mobile page. The only problem is that we got news, but we kind of didn't. And what I'm talking about here is the latest tweet coming from MK Mobile, telling us that we should be on the lookout because we could blink and miss him. Of course, the talk is about classic smoke. We got that news already like a week ago and now I'm going to show you the exact video they present us here. We see classic smoke stepping out of the living forest, walking towards us and then the exciting news. Classic smoke is coming soon. And I was just like extremely baffled by this for the simple fact that we indirectly got that news already like about a week ago and there is nothing new to this entire thing except for the fact that classic smoke in this particular case is definitely confirmed otherwise it is just nothing so after this is all we waited an entire week for, let's rather play some Faction Wars, because that is way more exciting than anything that is coming from the official MK Mobile page right now. And this time we are going to play another Outworld team, of course a team composition that we haven't played on this channel yet. And this time I am playing Spectral Ermac, Classic Melina and Gunslinger Aaron Black together, and now I'm going to give you a quick look at the gear I put on these guys. Here we have the starter stuff, some block break, some resistance, power drain and fire at match begin. Nothing fancy, very basic starter gear. Melina starts with a bar of power, has the chance to reanimate and a block breaker. And here we have the block breaker, the chance to regenerate power and power costs reduced on special 2 for Aaron Black. Let's get into the hard battle now, and let's blow off some steam. And we're starting the match with Spectral Ermac against Black Dragon Kano, Combo Ender by Ermac. Here we lead into the next combo ender and the special one. Kano is already regenerating power, but we took him out of the match, so that will not be of our concern. Another combo ender against Black Dragon Tremor, and the next special one follows. Now we block the special one by Tremor, he now has a bone shield. And special 2 by Classic Melina. Tremor is out, blocking the special 1 by Johnny. Combo Ender by Melina. Ah, he has a block breaker and he snared us. Combo Ender by Melina again. And another special 1. Blocking Johnny Cage's special 1. And he has a bone shield once again. But now we won the match. Match number two, and this time against Classic Scorpion. 
Again, the combo ender for the opening. Blocking the basics. And here comes the next combo ender. And up to the special two. Soul Charge. And Scorpion is out. Well, we got caught here by Shao Kahn's special one. And special one by Ermac to return the favor. Combo Ender followed by special one again. And Shao Kahn is on his Revenant shield. Special two by Melina will not do anything, but at least we gain some time. And the tag to Aaron Black, special two against classic Melina. Now she's on the Revenant shield. We block the special two. And she has a block breaker as well. Special one by Melina. And we have a full health bar again. We take the special two by Shao Kahn again. And here the X-ray by Aaron Black against Shao Kahn. And that was enough, ladies and gentlemen. That's a victory. Match number three, this time against Covered Ops Cassie Cage. Combo Ender by Spectral Ermac. And another one. Let's get him up to a special two right away again. Here comes the Soul Charge. And Cassie is forced out, so she is on her Revenant shield. But we don't have to deal with her. That's why Force Out is quite a useful debuff, or buff in this case. Special 2 by Gunslinger Aaron Black. We blocked a special 1 by Kung Lao. Uh, he has a basic block breaker, this special 1 got through. Now special 2 by Classic Melina against Balanced Kenji. And now he's on the Revenant Shield. We blocked the special 2 and he also uses the block breaker. Soul Charge against Kenji. Kenshi is reanimated by the Living Dead. Special 1 failed. His Special 2 got through. Kenshi is out. Yeah, we are now on the Revenant Shield. This is going so fast. Special 2 to take out Cassie. Blocking the Special 1. The slide failed. Special 2 by Classic Melina. And victory. And now we are facing Hellspawn Scorpion. That little power drain was useful, but we are blinded by the Shadow Sash. Alright. Let's see if we can get Melina up to her special two. Combo Ender by Melina. And another one. We rather save that thing. And we are blinded again, this time by Jade's special two. Now we are already regenerating power. Let's get Aaron Black out of this match. Ermac is already on his Revenant shield. Jade is taken now, a special one. She deals a lot of damage already. And here is Melina, back with the special two against Hellspawn Scorpion. That was not enough to take him out, now we take the special two. 
the special one follows. And Scorpion is out, we are healed. And now the X-Ray against Jade by Aaron Black. We got that beautiful bullet ready for Jade. And she is out. So is our Aaron Black special one now by Classic Melina. And tag to Ermac for the X-Ray. Will it be enough to take out Treacherous Tanya? Let's see. Afterwards we will have a shield anyway, but it was enough, we don't need the shield. Awesome. And here the final match, opening against cosplay Jackie Briggs. Directly starting with Aaron Black this time. Combo Ender. And another one. Now if we deal with classic Sonya Blade. Let's keep that special too and wait for either Johnny or Jackie Briggs. We blocked the special 2 by Sonya and here's Jackie again, special 2 by Aaron and Sonya is back, runs directly into the special 2 of Melina but of course the cheating AI blocks that despite being in the midst of her attack but we are used to that special 1 and here is Johnny Cage Special 2 by Aaron Black, the tag worked directly and that's a very fast victory. And another Outworld team made it through a successful hard battle. And now we open 5 Feats of Strength packs, do a little recap. And I think in this case it's more appropriate really to talk a little bit about what is going on right now because it really angered a lot of people in the community with the way Netherrealm is releasing their information. Like a week ago we already got that teaser for Classic Smoke and then they said that we should keep an eye on their Facebook page and uh, then we got days of basically complete silence, no nothing was announced, so keeping an eye open was absolutely a waste of time. And then finally we saw that there was news from the MK Mobile team, I saw it first on Twitter, and then uh, just seeing that news that classic smoke is coming and my only re reaction was uh, yes we know that already what's the news is that all that we get and probably we will just have another few days of silence now because Netherrealm really is or has gotten so out of touch with their player base or, or fan base that it's just baffling what the hell is going on in terms of the communication between Netherrealm and their fans. And we have this problem going on basically since 2.0. There is one bad update after another. Every time when we voice our opinion, Netherrealm completely ignores everything. I remember as 2.0 dropped, there were so many people angry about the store, constantly shouting at Netherrealm in every Facebook post or in every tweet to bring back the old store and till this day they haven't even addressed why they even made that change even though we all are aware why they did it it's just about the money and it is so sad because this game is so incredibly awesome and then having a company that ignores the fan base that much is just disappointing 
Just as disappointing as getting nothing in the feats of strength packs, my ladies and gentlemen. But that brings me already to the end of this video. I am pretty angry about the way this all went down, but on the other hand, I'm also happy that I could bring you guys some Outworld gameplay. These awkward news that hopefully make us smile one day, just looking back at the good old times. Thank you for tuning in once again, and as usual, I will be back with the next video very soon. Until then, you can choose one of the two videos that are up here right now. Please like, comment and subscribe. And also don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you will be informed every time when I upload a new video. Take care, Casey over and out for today.